Hello and welcome to the third tutorial in the C++ programming series and today we're going to be looking at console out. By default the standard output of a program points at the screen aka the terminal. So with the CO operator and the insertion operator which is the less than less than symbol which I'll show you in a moment can print messages onto the screen. So obviously on Xcode is the little command line in the bottom on Windows there will be the actual command prompt that pops up. We're developing on Xcode but it's literally the same code on Windows as well. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. The C out or console out belongs to the standard namespace, which is uh, the code is in here, the input output stream. So I'm um, going to delete this code for a second because that's what it is. That's what we're doing. So the standard namespace is std, and then to access the standard name, if you do colon colon, then you at least there's a lot of functions here. And what we want to do is the C out, which is part of the output stream because we're outputting text to the screen. So we just click enter and now to actually write text or anything we do the less than less than then we write some text. We're just gonna write hello world this is text and then you can either end it with a semicolon like that right there. We'll show you the result. And as you can see, program ending with exit code zero was on the exact same line. A lot of times you don't want it to be on the exact same line, wherever the next piece of text is. So what you can do is less than less than again, and you can do std colon colon end line. And if you run that, that's basically prints out a new line at the end, which is pretty cool. And here you can also just have variables if you want to we'll be covering variables in the fifth tutorial where you but when you put the variable in you just literally put the name of the variable you can also have multiple pieces of the text so you can do that as well run it and it's and it's working a okay I think it just runs it right next to it so if there's no new line or no spaces no nothing it will literally put it next to it and you might find this a little annoying I, I do personally to do std colon colon or whatever the namespace name is so what you can do is this is pretty cool using namespace and then you put the name of the namespace aka std semicolon uh, and now you can run it fine with std colon colon as well so old code won't be affected by this but if you get rid of it and then run it just get rid of that one it still works a-ok -okay because we have just included the namespace here we've used it at the top so that's pretty cool some people prefer to keep using the namespace so you're, when you're going through code you see exactly what's part of what namespace but again you know, it's personal preference. That's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at data types within C++. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support us on our system, the code AK. Oopsie daisy, I just, <laughs> I literally just had my finger on the enter key. Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, where was it? Yeah, feel free to message us at support us on our system, the code AK. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube, whatever you prefer, whatever suits you. Also, all the required Things for the source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a nice day.